So Kyle Rittenhouse, the teenager who went to Kenosha, Wisconsin, and ended up killing two people, he has been released. Now, this is old news by now, but I still wanted to talk about this because I think that I have to point out the absurdity of our so-called criminal justice system and how this is, this is just, it exposes everything wrong with our system. So CNN reports, Kenosha shooting suspect Kyle Rittenhouse posts 2 million bail, 2 million, and he posted that. Now, that in and of itself, the fact that he's being released when he's a domestic terrorist, literally, should disgust you. But what's even perhaps more disgusting is the fact that right-wingers celebrated this as if he's a hero. He took two lives. Two human beings are dead because of him. They will never live again. And you're celebrating this? Now, whenever I talk about Kyle Rittenhouse and I call him a domestic terrorist, which he is, MAGA chuds will, will respond by saying, but Mike, he, he had to do that. He had to kill them because that was self-defense. No, you have no evidence of that. All you have are conspiracy theories. But what we know that is confirmed is that this individual is the aggressor. He showed up with a gun looking for problems. It's despicable. Now, I want to share some tweets from AOC because I think she made phenomenal points that should be common sense to everyone. She says people who argue that dramatic changes to policing, including budgetary ones, will mean violent people will be let out of jail to roam free, rarely ever acknowledge that's actually the current system we have today for the privileged. Does anyone believe Rittenhouse would be released if he were Muslim and did the same thing in a different context? For people who say systemic racism doesn't exist, this is what it looks like. Protection of white supremacy baked deep into our carceral systems. Law and disorder. And that's exactly it. That is exactly it. I mean, think about how outrageous it is that police officers will respond to Black Lives Matter protesters, even peaceful ones, with violence. But individuals, armed thugs from militias, will show up with guns and they work with them. Who's actually violent? The people with the guns or the people with the signs? Now, sure, occasionally, these protests turn into riots, but that violence is a response to state-sanctioned violence. The violence in Minneapolis was a response to violence against George Floyd. The violence in Kenosha was a response to the shooting of Jacob Blake. But that violence is never justified and acceptable. Police violence is. This type of uh, militias who kill people that's acceptable. Our criminal justice system is a fucking joke. I mean, it's already bad enough that we have a two-tier justice system where the rich get away scot-free no matter what types of crimes they commit. I mean, how many United States senators got busted doing insider trading this year and how many of them are in, pre in prison? Zero. But on top of that, we have a white supremacist system. We have a system where... Weed is virtually legal for white Americans, but black Americans get locked up for smoking it. It's just, it's despicable. And, you know, I would encourage everyone who hasn't already to read Michelle Alexander's The New Jim Crow, because you will see how racist our system is in actuality. And, you know, the fact that this domestic terrorist is now going to be free, it's disgusting. It shows that this... <laughs> This country is uh, in really poor shape. The fact that there's disagreement about whether or not a domestic terrorist should be free is disturbing.